So we usually have a uh, delivery of food on the um, uh, at on about the 18th of every month, and so uh, this month is a bit unusual because we're in the middle of uh, of a food shortage, as it were. There's a bit of rationing, but because of the coronavirus, as you can see, this is how many substitutes, and there's a whole other page under that that I can't show you because I'm holding a baby. Um, this chap is from a local large supermarket, and uh, what's it been like out there? Crazy at the moment. Um, we've got customers we have to deliver to in isolation, so we're delivering to customers who are elderly. We can't get the food to them on time. Uh, they're struggling to get the food to them in the first place, as you can see by the substitutes we've got. Um, and so, yeah. is there, am I right in thinking there's not much in the supermarkets either? The supermarkets are getting stripped pretty quick. They're, they're, there's customers queuing at 7 o'clock in the morning, but luckily they now put a limit on certain items, which is a good thing. Because they need to do that. Yeah, yes. Yeah. People, I don't think people need to panic this bad. The food is there, but they just can't get it to the stores quick enough for the demand. Yeah, There's too many people sense. coming in, grabbing the food. That food's meant to last two to three days, and it's going in a matter of hours. So wow. The deliveries, they can't keep up. The poor delivery folk can't keep up. So are they, are they changing you guys' shifts? Is there things? It's, it's completely random. We don't know. So is it, because uh, I know with the NHS they're talking about calling people in who are retired and things, is that the same for food? Mm -hmm. No, uh, we, we have a lot of staff in, we've got so many staff in at the moment, mm -hmm. working around the clock to get the shelves stacked, deliveries to people on time. And Well thank you very much on behalf of the yeah. British public to someone who is on the front line, an, an unsung hero <laughs> in uh, the battle against coronavirus.